Hi, this is Michael Talis with the Talis team. Happy New Year! We want to wish joy, health and prosperity to you and all your loved ones. As we're entering the Roaring Twenties, it is time to look back at the decade of 2010s and make some predictions for the future. I will be using local data that will take major news sources months to compile. I also will be able to go into details of individual cities and market segments national press will not cover. If you still have questions about your local market at the end of this video, call or text me 650-766-6100. I'm looking forward to answering them for you. Ten years ago, we only started the recovery after the worst housing market crash in the history of this country. Since then, national home prices increased by 52%. Bay Area significantly outperformed the nation. Median home sale price jumped by 137% here. The homes are also selling much faster now. In 2019, it took 29 days on average to sell a home in Santa Clara, San Mateo counties, comparing with 79 days a decade ago. With so few homes on the market in our area, everything sells. There is only 13% drop in the number of home sales last year, comparing with 2009. 2019 ended up with sale price sliding by 4.8% on average. The biggest price drop happened in Mountain View. The median sale price decreased by 8% to 1,550,000. Redwood City fared the best with only 2.8% decrease. What's interesting, Redwood City median home sale price is also 1,550,000, exactly like Mountain View. In 2019, both the number of closed sales and the number of new listings declined. That is where we see the biggest differences between the cities. In Menlo Park, the number of new listings increased by more than 16% and the number of sales by almost 12%. Los Altos also had a significant increase in the activity. 13% more new listings and 12% more sales than in 2018. The largest drop in the activity happened in Sunnyvale. 9% decrease in the number of new listings and 15% decrease in the number of sales. This was a reaction to fast growth during the previous two years when the sale price jumped by 15% in 2018 and by 16% in 2017. But what should we expect in 2020? Assuming continued economic growth into 2020, we should expect a moderate home price growth after the market adjustment we went through in 2019. We experienced a similar price correction in 2016, but at the time it affected only some of the local markets – Los Altos, Palo Alto and Menlo Park. The shortage of inventory will continue in most markets in the Bay Area. Buyers expecting to stay in the homes for 10 years or more will discriminate against the homes that are not well prepared for sale or not well located and demand a discount where it's possible. We expect the average time on the market to remain in 3-4 to four weeks range, with the most desirable properties selling much faster, typically in less than 2 weeks on the market. According to experts' consensus, the interest rates should remain near historic lows in 3.6 to 3.9% range. Keep in mind that 2019 started with interest rates around 4.5%. Low interest rates will help housing affordability and support high level of buyer activity for foreseeable future. This is Michael Tallis with the Tallis team. If you are thinking about buying your first home, moving up or investing in real estate, dial the number on your screen. Let's have a conversation. Let's brainstorm how we can take advantage of the current market conditions and find the best opportunities for you.